In this video I test a light strip, LED light strip CRI90 Plus. It's a triple layer of LEDs, three rows of LEDs, so it's more easy to cover some uh, area to light it or to make an LED panel out of it. This is the LED driver. It's from one light, 150 watts maximum. But it works with lower uh, lower power. The LED driver should always be about 20-30% higher than the maximum load capacity you have on your uh, LED strip. In my case the LED strip is about 45-48 watts per meter and that's almost 100 near 100 per meter and that is 150 so it's fine. The input on the LED driver, this is constant voltage, it's 24 volts, it has input AC, 230 volts AC, 240 volts AC, so be careful with that, that's dangerous. And you can tell the AC side because it has L and N. And this is the model 7885-C. It's just from this manufacturer, but I think it's just a rebranded Chinese light strip and like many other products, but maybe they make it. I'm not sure about that. And if you know, write in the comment section below. Here it's pretty simple. Plus is the red, minus is the black, negative, positive and negative. In DC voltage, this side is DC voltage, 24 volts. 150 wa watts maximum and the way it works for this light this LED strip is 24 volts and it's constant voltage the current is limited by the current limiting resistors on the LED strip you see them at some point you will see them make sure the wires are inserted uh, so much that you can't see any bare wire but not too much that you when you tighten the these uh, screws instead of making good contact with the wire it would tighten the, the insulation you really don't want that how it it's usually here n and l it depends on the cable the color codes in in a normal case you would have the ln connected to this led driver and the earth the grounding would be connected to the case itself or a box that uh, holds this this is usually installed in kitchen cabinets or any place in your living room somewhere it's uh, hidden away from view and has mounting screws for the wall or the ceiling and uh, yeah the um, important thing here is to make sure that the wires they are held tightly and safely there and there is no exposed wire outside so tighten them i tighten them this is not um, an advice on how you should do things if you don't know how to do this call an electrician let them set everything for, up for you I'm just showing you how I do it and this is not for a kitchen cabinet it's just for the desk for a temporary light that it's most of the time it's off anyway the LED driver has a way to secure the cable but I thought I will do it a bit like this not sure if that's a great idea but it kind of worked I really wanted to eliminate chances of stressing the wires because this is the AC side 240 volts 230 I really don't want anything bad to happen there installing the cover the cover is pretty nice actually on this model many of these LED driver units they are pretty much bare I mean, I understand they are meant to be installed in kitchen cabinets or some other enclosures, boxes, but some of those they have exposed terminals, live AC terminals. This one, no. 
So that's a pretty good thing. The DC side is much lower voltage, a lot less danger, but you still shouldn't short the wires because you don't want to short the LED driver. It's time to test it and see how powerful this LED strip really is. I have here two lamps running, they are about 2400 lumens or 1400 lumens. They are 17 watts. It's a nice filament type of LEDs. When I turn them on, it looks like, I don't know, sparkles, really bright, bright lights. I was saying I feel like a star, like a movie star, having this next to me. But now, before the car temperature was adjusted for the lamps, they are 2700 Kelvin. The LED strip, this one is 4000 Kelvin, so it's warm white, but not very warm white. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Not getting too hot. I said they're not getting too hot, but actually they do get really hot. That's why I have them installed, mounted on aluminum profiles as LED video light panels. I will. This is a two meter uh, light strip. I will cut it in half, and then again in half so that I make two panels. I made them already. I'm looking at the panel right now. It looks great. Subscribe to see the future videos with how to make your LED panels. This it could be they have also I've seen CRI 96, 97 even, but they were not in three rows like this so easy to install and they were also less powerful. And I thought, okay, I'll try this and see how it goes. These usually they're found. Most online shops, you'll find them. Different brands. This really brand doesn't really matter. The only thing I could say, it's really unique to this, what I've seen. The LED driver is made really well. No exposed contacts. And the tape, the backing tape is really solid. I tried to remove one of them and I almost broke the LED strip only because the tape was too strong. And I've seen tapes that don't really last even a week by themselves and then you have to put some reinforcement. It's not nice. While testing this, you can see one of the sides that it's it has the wires. I made sure the I made sure the wires don't touch each other. And the light from them it's really nice and it's actually too strong sometimes but I was able to take a few pictures with my phone and the quality of the picture looked like it was daylight how it takes pictures in the daylight you can you can subscribe to watch the future video about the LED panel and let me know if you have any comments any question about these lights about the if you want to see details about the voltage and the specifications i will put links in the description with the unboxing of both of these the led light light strip and the led driver thanks for watching check the links in the description